Hello YouTube. Um just a uh finally a new tutorial for Visual C Sharp two thousand eight. Um finally I'm going to continue my tutorial series, thank God. And I'm gonna start off with a bang showing you classes and methods, which will help you in the future a lot. Uh classes and methods are really, really cool. And uh first I'll just like usual, I'll tell you the d the download location, which is microsoft.com slash express slash downloads, and I'll probably have it in the description for the video. But uh, let's get to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, classes and methods inside the classes. Uh, classes are basically something that you can... Uh, hold methods in. For instance, if you have a class called moves, if you're making a game in C Sharp and you have a class called moves, each method in that class can be like a punch, uh, like a punch method, a kick method, and then you can have another class called, um, I don't know, um, weapons, and then have a method called uh, sword, have a method called gun, and then uh, you can have basically just different classes to call methods from. And, um, these classes can be used um, or can be created by just right clicking on your uh, solution and then clicking add or rather uh, your project and clicking add and then uh, class and it adds a class file which is a .cs file and basically uh, we're going to be adding one class file called formulas and I know you're probably going to be thinking at first wait I can do this without classes and methods however I want to explain classes and methods in a way you can understand that isn't too far from what we've been doing so far. Um, because if I just jump into something deep and hard to do, you're not going to understand what classes are. So I'm going to start out with something basic to show you what classes are, and then later in another tutorial I'm going to get into something harder to do with classes. And we're going to do some even more advanced stuff where I can show you the even better side of classes. But first of all, we're just going to create a simple calculator. So the simple calculator we'll be creating is this right here. Um, I changed the uh, name of it, the, the text for the form, to a multiplier because that's what I'm going to be calling the project. Uh, there's a button that's called multiply. Once you click it, it multiplies the two numbers in these boxes, and it outputs a text or it, it outputs a uh, message box that tells you the answer between multiplying those. This button right here tells you about the program and who created it. Um, I'm just adding that on for uh, professionalism and just showing you a little tip that you can do with your programming. Uh, most programmers do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, create a new project. I'll, I need to save mine first. Okay. Uh, new project. Okay, Windows Forms application as usual. You can call it anything, but I'm going to call mine uh, Class Method Lesson. Uh, oh, okay, right, 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 I forgot. There we go. So you have this form here. We're going to go ahead and resize it. Just add on uh, a button. And just resize that button a bit. Change the text to um, multiply. And, uh,. Now just add a couple of text boxes. Okay, so we got our text boxes. Now go ahead and add the other button on that tells you about the program. And like always, I like to make mine professional, so I'm just going to take the size of it. And I'm going to uh, make the maximum size of the window and the minimum size that that size. That way they can't resize it. I know you might get annoyed by that sometimes, but I think it's kind of cool. We'll change button two, uh, the text on button two to about this program. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we got our form looking good. I'm going to go ahead and change the form 1 text to multiplier 1.2. That's the version I'm going to call it. 
Okay, so without, uh, let's go ahead and create our class file. Now, in order to create a class file, like I said before, you just right click, uh, add class. I'm gonna call the class formulas, like I did in the other one. Okay, so it takes you right into the code of that class. Now, one thing we have to add on here is we have to include the form that our program uses. So, put using uh, when Windows dot form. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, I gotta put system. Yeah, <laughs> I always forget that system dot Windows dot forms and ended off with semicolon like usual. Okay, so this is our class right here. All of this. Uh, it's using the namespace class method lesson because that is the name of my project. And then the class name is formulas, so this is where the code will go for our class. And you can create, you can add all your methods right here inside the class. So we're going to go ahead and create a method. And by creating a method, you create a public method, a static one. And we'll make it an integer. And uh, we'll name it multiplication. So it's the multiplication method. If you want to extend this program, uh, you can add other methods called like add addition and stuff. I mean, addition's easy, so I wouldn't recommend that, but like square root, stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. So first value. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my... Okay, let me explain what I'm doing here. I went a little ahead of myself. Okay, so I'm creating a public static <laughs> integer, um, which is my method, and I'm going to call it multiplication. And whenever you create a method, what you can do is you can add in um, variables that your method uses. And if you include these variables when you're when you're creating a new method, by like for instance, I'm going to create two variables. Follow me on this. I'm creating two variables. They're going to be integers. The first one is first value, which is the first value I want to be multiplied, and then the second value, which is the one I want it to be multiplied to. And then let's close that off. So now you have your two variables that your uh, method uses, which is pretty cool. And now, ah, dang it, we're going to create curly brackets to open up our method. Well, what's it telling me here? Oh, okay. It, I I haven't. The reason it's doing this is I haven't created a declared a return value yet. I'll go over that in a second. Okay, so. Our, what our method is going to do is it's going to create an integer named x, and it's going to make set x equal to the first value times the second value. There we go. So that's what it does. And then what we're our, what our return value is going to be x. So every single method has to have a return value. Um, the return value, it, it could be anything. Basically, the method is going to return a value. Um, it needs to return a value. And uh, I, for my value, it's going to be... my uh, Since it's an int, my return value has to be an int. And um, I'm going to set mine to x. So it's going to return x. So it's going to take the two um, boxes that I have and take the numbers, which I'm going to do in a second, and it's going to multiply them both together, and then it's going to set my x equal to that. So my x will be the answer to this equation that our program is going to do. And then this uh, class returns it in this code right here. It returns x. So that's our whole class. It, it wasn't that hard. We basically just uh, created the calculation that our class is going to do. And now we need to go back to our form.